Hello viewers, a warm welcome to all of you in this course of digital communication. In this segment, we are going to discuss Pulse Amplitude Modulation or PAM. This is totally conducted by Ganon powered by Wishback. Now, before starting this Pulse Amplitude Modulation, let us discuss the modulation types. There are two types of the modulation. One is known as Continuous Wave Modulation another is pulse modulation in continuous wave modulation wave modulated signal is used as a carrier signal which modulates the message signal there are three parameters that can be altered to achieve modulation namely frequency amplitude and phase there are three types of the modulation henceforth what are they number one is amplitude modulation number two is the frequency modulation and number three is the phase modulation now let us discuss some idea about them in amplitude modulation the carrier amplitude is varied according to the message signal you are already aware of the term carrier and the message signal so this type of the modulation is known as amplitude modulation what is the case for frequency modulation in frequency modulation, the carrier frequency is varied according to the message signal. Then let us discuss the phase modulation. What is the phase modulation? The name is phase. So the carrier phase is varied according to the message signal. Now let us discuss pulse modulation. Pulse modulation is a technique in which signal is transmitted with the information by the pulses. This is divided into analog pulse modulation and digital pulse modulation. This analog pulse modulation can be further classified as pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation. Digital modulation is classified as pulse coded modulation or PCM and delta modulation DM. Now this DM delta modulation can be further improved to adaptive delta modulation now today we are going to discuss pulse amplitude modulation pulse amplitude modulation is a technique in which amplitude of each pulse is controlled by the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal it is a modulation system in which the signal is sampled at regular intervals and each sample is made proportional to the amplitude of the signal at the instant of the sampling. This technique transmits the data by encoding in amplitude of a series of the signal pulses. There are two types of the sampling technique for a transmitting signal using PAM. What are they? There, number one is flat top pulse amplitude modulation and second one is natural pulse amplitude modulation. First, we are going to discuss this flat top pulse amplitude modulation. The amplitude of each pulse is directly proportional to modulating signal amplitude at the time of the pulse occurrence. The amplitude of the signal cannot be changed with respect to the analog signal to be sampled. That means they are something like stubborn type, not changing. The tops of the amplitude remains flat. Now, let us discuss the natural pulse amplitude modulation in natural pulse amplitude modulation the amplitude of each pulse is directly proportional to modulating signal amplitude at the time of pulse occurrence then follows the amplitude of the pulse for the rest of the half cycle so they are flexible now let us discuss the circuit design of the pulse amplitude modulation a pam is generated from a pure sine wave modulating signal and a square wave generator which produces the carrier pulse and a PAM modulated circuit. The sine wave generator is used which is based on wind bridge oscillated circuit. This can produce distortionless sine wave at the output. The circuit is designed such that the amplitude and the frequency of the oscillator can be adjusted using a potentiometer. You are familiar with all the terms earlier. 
the frequency can be varied by varying the potentiometer r2 and the amplitude of the adjusted amplitude is adjusted using the potentiometer r the frequency of the sine is generated is given by capital f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over r1 r2 c1 c2 now let us discuss something more about the circuit design the square wave is generated using op amp based a stable multi vibrator or a stable circuit the op amp is used to reduce the complexity of the generating the square wave the on time and the off time of the pulse can be made identical that means same and the frequency can be adjusted without changing them the time period of the pulse generated depends on the value of the resistance and the capacitance the period of the op amp a stable circuit hence is given by t is equal to that the capital t is equal to 2.2 capital r into c now the sinusoidal signal and carrier wave is applied to a transistor the output will be pam signal depending on on and off time of the transistor now let us discuss the demodulation or the detection of the pulse amplitude modulated signal the demodulator circuit of PAM is consisting of a holding circuit and a low pass filter. The zero order holding circuit simply a switch and a capacitance. The output of the holding circuit is as shown. The low pass filter is used to regenerate the original message signal. The modulating signal is shown in the figure. The PAM signal is shown in the figure. You are already aware of the term and the figure and the diagram of the PAM. After the demodulation, the retrieve signal is shown in the figure, which is basically same as the original transmitted signal. Now, let us discuss the application. So everything must have some application, right? Without the application, we can't use any kind of the modulation. So there is some utility. Okay, let us discuss them. What is the application? It is used in Ethernet communication. Also, it is used in many microcontroller for generating the control signals. It is used in photobiology. It is also used as an electronic driver for LED lighting. Now let us discuss the advantage of the pulse amplitude modulation. It is simple process for both modulation and demodulation and the transmitter and receiver circuits are simple and easy to construct pam can generate other pulse modulation signals and can carry the message at the same time but no one is perfect hence pam has some disadvantage also what are the disadvantage the bandwidth should be large for transmission of pam modulation here the noise will be great that means high and the pulse amplitude signal is varies so the power required for the transmission will be more so what we have discussed today we have discussed the modulation classification next we discuss pulse amplitude modulation generation next we discuss pulse amplitude modulation demodulation or detection after that we discussed the application of the pam then we discussed advantage and the disadvantage of the pulse amplitude modulation. That's all for this segment. Stay tuned to Ganon. Thank you viewers. Bye.